Mr. Carpenter. Glad to see you in good health. Yeah, I'm glad too, kid. It was hard to make it here in one piece after all that turmoil. I never expected this from my own son. I'm sorry for that. Eh, never mind. Nothing wine, women, and song can't fix. I'm still going strong, kid, if you know what I mean. I wanted to thank you for bailing me out of jail. That was very helpful. Yeah, sure, kid. But you must understand that your freedom ain't yet insured. They still have a witness against you. Milton Pierce. I can make sure the police swallow whatever I feed them, but I need some morsels to offer. You get me, kid? You need evidence of my innocence. Find the one to blame and let my taskmaster know. Old Brutus will do the rest. I didn't see Graham here. What happened to him? I had to ensure my own survival, kid. I don't think you want to know more than that. Who is this Milton Pierce? Ah, another rich rascal running for mayor. Nothing special. Just your typical Reed Heights scum. Do you know where I can find him? No idea, kid. From what I've seen in newspaper interviews, he's all over this town. Thank you. Wait a second, kid. Take this. It's a fine tool for sticky situations. Make good use of it. Will do. Thanks. Yeah. Watch yourself, kid. I found Harriet Doe, but... But? Things did not go as planned. She didn't make it. What? I pay you to find someone and you come here hat in hand bleating that she didn't make it? She was our last chance to discover what is wrong with this city. What happened to her? She tried to flee the underwater temple of the Order. I think she probably drowned. How on earth could this happen? You were meant to have it under control. I don't even know how I got out of there alive. I couldn't do anything, Mr. Throgmorton. I'm sorry. Useless. Any other bad news to report? There's something ancient below this city. Ruins of some kind. They drive people insane, or... Rather, what lies within does. <laughs> Nonsense. I expected better. I'm talking about the very ruins your people were sent to explore. Didn't end well, did it? You seem intent on ruling out rational explanations in favor of the inane. Believe me, there's nothing rational about this. That is for me to decide. 
ruins. Hmm. Perhaps another expedition is in order. It will take some time to organize. As for you, I don't need your services on this case anymore, Mr. Reed. Here is your payment. Adjusted for your failure to retrieve Harriet, of course. Have a good day. I'm not in the mood for chit-chat, Mr. Reed.
This guy. Sure handsome. Blood on his hands. Literally. They must be taking his election campaign very seriously. Someone got changed here in a hurry. The shape is familiar. I've seen similar daggers before. Someone got changed here. They definitely kept some dirty clothes here. You can see the blood splatter. Is he planning to become the Prince of Oakmont, or is this just some light reading? They must be taking his election campaign very seriously. They definitely kept some dirty clothes here. You can see the blood splatter. This guy sure had some blood on his hands. Literally. Based on past experience, leaving it here was not the best idea. The smell of blood can attract all sorts of unwanted visitors. Based on past experience, leaving it here was not the best idea. The smell of blood can attract all sorts of unwanted visitors. Someone got changed here in a hurry. Is he planning to become the Prince of Oakmont, or is this just some light reading? Watch yourself. must be taking his election campaign very seriously. Based on past experience, leaving it here was not the best idea. The smell of blood can attract all sorts of unwanted visitors.
I definitely kept some dirty clothes here. You can see the blood splatter. Hey, he must be taking his election campaign very seriously. Someone got changed here in a hurry. is familiar. I've seen similar daggers before. Based on past experience, leaving it here was not the best idea. The smell of blood can attract all sorts of unwanted visitors. This guy sure had some blood on his hands. Literally. This guy sure had some blood. He must be taking his election campaign very seriously. Is he planning to become the Prince of Oakmont, or is this just some light reading? Emptier than a banker's heart. Blood was spurting out of him, Robert. Just spurting out. Oh, it's all over me.
Ah, where's my Dane tie? I should have been at City Hall by now. Voters won't meet and greet themselves. Get these out of my sight, Robert. Isn't that why we have a laundry room downstairs? Time to figure this out. The, the blood was spurting out of him, Robert. Just spurting out. Oh, it's all over me. Ah, where's my Dane tie? I should have been at City Hall by now. Voters won't meet and greet them. Get these out of my sight, Robert. Isn't that why we have... Ah, where's my Dane tie? I should have been at City Hall by now. Voters won't meet and greet themselves. The, the blood was spurting out of him, Robert. Just spurting out. Oh, it's all over me. Ah, where's my... Get these out of my sight, Robert. Isn't that why we have a laundry room downstairs? Milton Pierce came home covered in blood. He ordered his butler to take his clothes downstairs and went to meet voters at City Hall. Newcomers. Hey, what's your business, kid? How are you doing, handsome? Hey, what's your business, kid? Stop bothering me, newcomer. Good day, Mr. Pierce. Bet you didn't expect to see me. How are you here? You should be in jail. I have good friends who bailed me out. I just want to talk. Well, okay. If you wish. You saw the real killer. Tell me who it was. Want to know what I saw? I saw a bloody newcomer rush in. Murder Johannes and stroll out like it was no big deal. 
You're certain it was a newcomer. How can you be so sure? Trust me. Oak Manors know a newcomer when they see one. We locals can tell. Why did you claim I did it? Excuse me? Why wouldn't I? A friend of mine was killed. Why should I let that go? You know I didn't do it. Quite the opposite, Reed. I saw your face. Or are you going to claim it wasn't yours? You seem like a rational man, Pierce. Can't we come to an arrangement? Are you attempting to bribe a politician, Mr. Reed? What makes you think I'd accept such an offer? I'm sorry. I must be thinking of a different Milton Pierce. But let me tell you, my beloved mother is so old and so rich. I'll miss her dearly when she's gone. Well, that's a non sequitur. Mr. Reed, how do I put this? I find my campaign hamstrung by a distinct lack of resources. Ah, <sighs> so it's about the money after all. I fear that all the budget pressures are affecting my cognition. If the situation were improved, perhaps I'd see things more clearly. For instance, I might suddenly realize I'd mistaken you for someone else. You could even remind me of whom. Well, if that's what it'll take, I guess I have no choice. Just make sure it looks natural and clean. You know the carpets there cost a fortune. Actually, take this. Comes well recommended from Professor Cavendish. Put it in a drink or something. Your wish is my command. Anything else? My dearest mother Agatha is currently at her manor. Here's the address. And Reed, don't come back here after. People shouldn't see me with you. <laughs>
again. <sighs> the door won't budge. Are you Glenn Byers? Yes. Who are you? Charles Reed, P.I. The guy taking the fall for your murder. Okay. How did you find me? Are you serious? I'm a private eye. Now don't make this any worse for yourself and answer my questions. Why did you murder Johannes Vanderberg? I had no choice. I am an honest man, sir. I have a family. My, my sweet Evelyn and Michael, her... Our son. I didn't want to do it, but they had him hostage. I, I don't even know Johan, or whatever he's called. You and I look rather similar, wouldn't you say? How is that possible? I... I don't know. Uh, this is the face I was born with. I'm just as confused as you are. Do you have any relatives in Boston? Not that I know of. Uh, my family is from Providence, Rhode Island. Just another of this town's oddities to add to the list. Do you know who's responsible? Uh, it was a, a gang. I I'd never seen any of them before. Uh, this guy gave me a gun. Uh, uh, Will? Maybe? Uh, but I, I don't know if he was anyone special. That's all I know. I swear. Tell me exactly how it all happened. Uh, they broke into our house while I was out. I, I came home and found the broken door. Uh, there were signs of a struggle, but my family... Poor Evelyn. They were gone. You never thought to report their abduction. Why not get help from the police? I wanted to call the coppers. I did, but they said... They sent me... Oh, drunk, I can't. It's still on the table. I have no guts to touch it. I'll need to inspect the place where it happened. If you have to, it's next door. I locked it so no one can get in. So I don't have to look at it again. Okay, let's say I believe you. You've done the deed, so where are your wife and son now? I don't know. The gang leader promised they'd be released, but they haven't returned. Please, I realize I'm in no position to ask, but... Can we make a deal? Depends on the offer. I am guilty. I took a life, but you have shouldered the blame. I will turn myself into the police and make this right. When I hand over the weapon, they will have to believe me, but I can't do it until I know my family is safe. Right. So I rescue your family to save my own skin. In a nutshell, yes. So what's your answer? All right, I'll do it. I don't like it, but... I'll do it. Thank you. You're a better man than I, Mr. Reed. I'm sorry that I put you in this position, but I will make it right. I promise. Used to be some writing here, but it's been washed off, at least partially. Still has a wedding ring on. What kind of monster does that? There's a note in the envelope. Old but clean and shiny. That's definitely. What am I to do now? Grape silk and lace. Must have been a pretty dress before it was torn. Seems like everywhere I go lately, I find blood.
Who in hell would think to use a spade as a weapon? Oh, wait a minute. Some of the boards look fresh. No dust. Joy is really cute here. I wish I could hear her sing. This door will be hard to fix. Catch up to us when you're done. And don't waste any time rescuing Martin. He's expensive. Open this door or I'll kick it down! Don't you dare touch my mom! I think I'm starting to get the picture. Open this door or I'll kick it down! Don't you dare touch my mom! Catch up to us when you're done. And don't waste any time rescuing Martin. He's expendable. A gang broke in and kidnapped a mother and son. The latter fought back, knocking an attacker through the floor. And the rest of the assailants left with the hostages. How do I get into the room beneath us? Why? The kitchen? Uh, it's locked. Just give me the key. Fine. Fine. Take it. I'll get... Someone must have had a hard fall here. Glad I'm not him. That's a rare spirit. They're lucky to have a bottle from before Prohibition. Someone must have had a hard fall here. Glad I'm not him. Let's see what he's got in here.
something you like. Cheaper than the rest. Hi there, Billy. Gotta say, I liked you more last time we met. Same to you, pal. Heard you might be coming, but hoped you wouldn't. So how about this? Leave now, and I pretend you weren't here. Why did you need the buyers anyway? What do you get out of it? There are... powerful entities in this Borg. You should know better than to question their affairs. So you best get out while I'm asking politely, Charlie boy. Billy, I want no trouble for either of us. Byers did what he was asked, so it's time you do your part. For the last time, move along. I already saved your life once. Consider this number two. I get attached to people I save it. Bit of a weakness. But understand this, Charles. I'd hate to kill you, but if I have to, I will. Billy, holding a family hostage doesn't suit you. Let them go, and we both walk out in one piece. It's not gonna work out that way. There's a reason the buyers are here. When the time comes, we'll set them free. Sorry, Billy. This is bigger than both of us. May the best man win. So this is how it ends, eh? I hoped you might be different. It's a shame you'll die here, Reed. This city has far worse men than you.
What the hell? Everything I've faced since coming to this city is on this map. Oh, thank you, mister. I... I thought they'd kill us. I... I don't know how we can ever repay you. Who... who are you? You look... I'm a private eye. And your father's worried about you, too. Father? Is he okay? Did you see him? He's fine, but this isn't over yet. Do you have somewhere you could hide out for a while? Um, yeah, yeah, sure. We'll stay at Aunt Peg's. What's going on? Your father and I have a matter we need to deal with together. He'll explain everything when he can. Okay, okay. Please, mister. Take care of him. He's a good man. I'll try. I've got to go. Thank you for saving us, sir. Have you... have you come to save us? Have you... have you come to save us? family is safe now. Yes, thank you so much. Uh, my sister-in-law just called to say Evelyn and Michael got there safely. I owe you everything. What happens now? Uh, should I turn myself in? Uh, first things first. You need to write a confession. It's your word against the witness. Uh, okay, I I'll take it over to the police station immediately. No, just give it to me. And the murder weapon. You still have it, right? Yes, sir. Here's everything. Good man. I'll go clear things up. I suggest you make the most of your time before the coppers come knocking. I'll get going.
What's your business, kid? How are you doing, hey, handsome? What's your business? Good news. I found the man that really killed Vanderberg. His name is Glenn Byers. And better still, I have a confession written in his own hand. You work fast, Mr. Reed. But how do you plan on refuting Pierce's testimony against you? Well, as it happens, here's a letter detailing how Pierce was bribed to lie to the police. A remarkable effort. Thank you. I'll hand it all over to the authorities. Now, one more thing. Glenn was forced to commit the crime, and he confessed to everything. Given the circumstances, can he hope for leniency? I'll see what we can do. But do be aware, Mr. Reed, that in this city, excessive kindness may be taken advantage of. Bye. been doing a great job, Mr. Reed. I'm waiting for you at the Devil's Reef Hotel. I'm watching you, newcomer. Hey, knock it off! I'm watching you, newcomer. Makes this place feel more like a
Never again, they say. Crew of the Cyclops. Semper Fortis, brothers. No matter how much of this I chug down, the visions always return. How? How is this possible? At last, Mr. Reed. I heard about your recent case. Let me congratulate you. You've truly outdone yourself this time. A question, if I may. I've got a question. How on earth are you still alive? What can I say? Perhaps next time you should make sure you finished the job. <laughs> it wasn't me and you know it. All this. All I went through, and there was no murder to begin with. The prosecution would beg to differ. They had all they needed. A victim, a method, and a culprit. The rest is just bells and whistles. You set me up. You son of a... I only set the scene. I'll... What? Kill me? As amusing as it would be to see you charged with my murder a second time, I'm afraid we have more pressing matters. What do you mean? You know exactly what I mean, Mr. Reed. The prophecy. The seal. You have made yourself a part of something momentous. First things first about your case. Your short-sightedness surprised me. Why, Charles? Why hand poor Mr. Byers over to the police? He was guilty. He pulled the trigger. Oh, was he? You too have carved a bloody path through this ailing city, Charles. You could at least be consistent in your choices. Regardless, I shall call this experiment a success. In fact, you should consider it a taste of your ultimate trial. I don't understand. What do you get from all this? You are headed into the darkness, Mr. Reed. I'm giving you the experience you'll need to find your way through it. What do you mean, my ultimate trial? What does this have to do with anything? <laughs> of course. Everything. It's your destiny. Destiny beyond comprehension. To be more than a speck of cosmic dust. To make waves across the universe. To end things. End what? Everything. You've suffered in this city from the very beginning. From the moment you were born, in fact. Wanting to end it is only natural. But unlike those untold millions before you, you have the power to do so. You can turn mere prophecy into absolute truth. You don't mean... The seal of Kotiganar is in your hands. You possess the key to the gates, and all they hold within. You can close them and cling to mankind's misery for a few more cruel centuries. Or you can open them and end it. And you will do the latter. Why? Why would I destroy everything? Because otherwise your life amounts to nothing. Do you know how many chosen few there have been over the centuries? Nameless hordes, sacrificed at the whim of invisible masters. Not unlike those who watered the puppies of Flanders with their blood. But our sacrifices mattered. We won the war. A war with many yet to come. This is your kin's nature, your purpose, to suffer. Your monkeys in an open cage, unwilling to walk out. Only you can make a difference. You can end it all for good. Johannes, you're vile. There is nothing more vile than futility. Watching this happen again and again and doing nothing. We are the agents of change, Mr. Reed. You're wrong. I'll prove it. You will prove nothing. You'll die. And at the next turn of the cycle, another will come along who is brave enough to finish the job. Nevertheless, 
I cannot abandon you, whether you agree with me or not. Your path is too important, even if your choice is beyond my control. You're right about one thing, at least. There is an archaeologist in this city. He is very close to unraveling the secret of Katigana, and you'll need his help to get inside. His name is Joseph Hill. Here is his address. Talk to him. Earn his favor. This is wrong, Johannes. All of it. And I still have no idea why I should even believe you. The truth is the truth. Whether you believe it or not, you can accept it, or try to put the blindfold back on. It doesn't matter. Farewell, Charles. Whether we speak again or not, I will be watching. And don't lose the seal again, or all your effort in this city would go to waste. We'll meet again, Mr. Reed.